Hi friends, in this video we will see a shortcut for converting open loop transfer function to closed loop transfer function and vice versa. So let us take one example. This is our closed loop transfer function as 8 by s square plus 6s plus 8. So how to convert it into open loop transfer function? We know that our open loop transfer function is G. And we also know that the formula for closed loop transfer function is g by 1 plus g h so this equal to this term 8 by s square plus 6s plus 8 here we will consider h equals to 1 so this will be g by 1 plus g equal to 8 by s square plus 6s plus 8 we can write it in this fashion also 1 by g 1 plus g by g equal to s square plus 6s plus 8 by 8 now if we split this term we will get 1 by g plus 1 equal to s square plus 6s plus 8 by 8 now we uh, take one, that 1 in this side so this will be 1 by g equal to s square plus 6s plus 8 by 8 minus 1 which implies s square plus 6s plus 8 minus 8 so 8 8 get cancelled out it will be s square plus 6s by 8 so the open loop gain or open loop transformation g equal to 8 by s square plus 6s so friends, if we do in this method, it will take a lot of time to find the open loop transfer function. Now we will see a shortcut to find this open loop transfer function in 2 to 3 seconds. We have closed loop transfer function as 8 by s square plus 6s plus 8. If we want to convert it into open loop transfer function, we just need to subtract whatever in the numerator in denominator whatever there will be in the numerator we have to subtract that one in denominator the result we will get is the open loop transfer function so this is the open loop transfer function of this one so now how to convert it into closed loop transfer function again so closed loop transfer function is equal to open loop transfer we will write the open loop transfer function and whatever there will be in the numerator we will add it in denominator so now we know how to convert the closed loop transfer function to open loop transfer function and open loop transfer function to closed loop transfer function provided that the feedback factor must be 1 now we know how to convert these things when h is equal to 1 if h is not equal to 1 then also we can use this shortcut Let's take h is equal to 2. If h is not 1, then we have to do like this. Let's suppose this is our open loop transfer function. So for converting it into closed loop transfer function, we have to add the numerator in denominator multiplying the h term. Means 2 into 8. This, is, this will be our closed loop transfer function. 8 by s square plus 6s plus 16 so friends in this video we saw that how to convert closed loop transfer function to open loop transfer function and open loop to closed loop and vice versa so friends if you like this video do like comment share and please subscribe to our channel amravek ventures thank you